anti-racism. If you remember during COVID, we talked a lot. Of, during COVID, we talked a lot about this uh, BLM. I did a number of shows on anti-racism. I think kind of anti-racism has kind of disappeared. Nobody really talks about it. Qua anti-racism, um, uh, since Biden got elected and 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 BLM is gone. And um, um, and so on. <laughs> Scott says you did say you'd spend your influence to stop Trump. Yes, my my influence, my tiny little influence. Yes, to the extent that I can, I will spend every bit of my influence to stop Trump because it is Trump that has lost the Republican Party Pennsylvania, and it's Trump that has lost the Republican Party Georgia, and it is Trump that lost the Republican Party. Uh, the, the the Senate and almost you know and lost it for a while the House and is going to it, it, yeah Trump is the problem so to the extent that we can defeat Trump over and over and over again and maybe defeat him more thoroughly next time to that extent there's some minor little hope for the Republican Party to the extent that Trump succeeds to the extent that you continue to support him to the extent that he is the nominee of the Republican Party the Republican Party is is finished is finished. Um, they are, uh, you know, they are the, you know, it is, it is, it is Trump's destruction of the Republican Party that is to blame. Nobody else, nobody else. And if you, but anyway, uh, we'll, we'll let you guys uh, keep uh, keep on that. Anyway, the anti-racism. So this was kind of a cool, um, uh, uh, you know, a story that comes out of New York. It turns out that NYU, New York University, one of the top universities in the country, hosted a quote, whites only anti-racism workshop for public school parents. <laughs> In the name of being anti-racism, only whites could attend the workshop. <laughs> now, of course, the workshop was focused on how whites are inherently guilty and they have to understand, uh, you know, the, the, the attitude of uh, minorities towards them and how ultimately it's their fault and they must do what they can in order to uh, to eliminate systemic racism everywhere where they find it and systemic because ultimately it's because they themselves are white um, and that they should feel super guilty and everything. Um, and of course, uh, you know, this is why it's whites only because why would you want to uh, inflict all this, you know, white guilt and uh, white self-obsession uh, 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 on minorities who might also participate in the seminar, so we want to, uh, uh, you know, spare them all this, uh, all this trouble. Um, uh, you know, as part of the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, supposedly the first session, um, uh, the workshop only included about a dozen parents. These are parents of public school kids, um, and um, uh, you know, the the, the the first session started out with, uh, uh, you know, in the background, uh, the music of uh, Woody Guthrie, All You Fascists Bound to Lose. That's a good way to start a, a, a seminar. I like Woody Guthrie, but he was quite a leftist. Um, and, um, uh, you know, pronoun sharing, and then, and then they urged the participants not to intellectualize. I have a different way of uh, phrasing that. Instead of saying... Please don't intellectualize. The real way to express that is don't think. We don't want you to think. Uh, we're not, this is a quote, we're not going to get through this without welcoming the feelings. The feelings. Yes, this is all about emotionalism. And, and a lot of it is about the emotion of, of guilt that you should have because you are actually white. Um, you know, there was a lot of emphasis on don't try too hard because you know, uh, that's just virtue signaling to be the good white person. Just feel guilty because there's nothing you can do about the fact that you're white. Uh, and uh, so this this was, uh, there was at least one um, uh, person from, from a local, uh, actually from the Community Education Council for New York, for one of the districts, so somebody from a, in a position of, of, of power. Um, and... Um, Yeah, I mean, this is the continuation of this. It's 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 done quietly in stealth, um, and uh, this is all about uh, white supremacy and how inherently whites are white supremacists, and uh, that that we live in a white supremacist culture, 
Uh, and again, um, all of this is, is this completely insane, ultimately racist ideology of uh, anti-racism that's both deterministic and, and racist and, and just overall uh, horrific uh, that, uh, that we, you know, I, I was first exposed to during the BLM or the post-BLM when all of this came to the forefront. So just know it's still out there. Seminars are just uh, uh, are being done. One of the sponsors of the seminar was a, a group called Aware LA. Uh, this is the Alliance of White Anti-Racists Everywhere, Los Angeles. Let me just tell you the name again. Just so you... Alliance of White Anti-Racists Everywhere. I guess if you're brown, gray, blue, yellow, you need, a, you need to form a different chapter. I mean, how do these people... Keep a straight face. Don't they see the overt racism in, in just the name, in, in identifying people based on skin color? The problem is that racism is being redefined. The reality is that racism is treating people based on the color of their skin or some other uh, immutable characteristic rather than the content of the character. This is how I understand racism. This, I think, is how Martin Luther King understood racism. But today, racism is not that. You can, uh, uh, racism is about power. Racism is about power over other people. And uh, being white immediately makes you a racist because you have power over others. Because I guess, I, I, you know, and if you're uh, of an oppressed minority, you cannot be a racist. You cannot be a racist if you have, if, if, if you have uh, dark skin. Because you're part of an oppressed minority and therefore by definition you can't be a racist. The whole way in which they use language is bizarre, offensive, and racist. Racist. Uh, but it's all about, um, yeah, it's all about oppression, the oppression Olympics, who, who's more oppressed, and, and therefore who has power. And, um, and, and, but it's not about freedom. It's not about um, colorblindness. It's not about real anti-racism. Anti-racism is colorblindness. In all these other things, they are opposed to colorblindness. On principle. On principle. That's why they call themselves white, this, 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 this. Because the color matters. 